camera's working it's the third time I've had to do this which is fine because I haven't actually opened my box yet I was saying it is freezing cold outside my husband has a day off so he's taking the kids to school and gymnastics and I thought I could like do a bit of backyard cleaning but it's freezing this morning and this got delivered late last night so I'm stuck to organize the kitchen but it's not I'm gonna open it it's not like container organizing. We had a pantry. I chopped it up and demoed it and destroyed it. It was annoying me. It, anyway, too many issues with that. So all I have is a cupboard, two or three cupboard doors that open and really deep shelves. And I was looking at options for like white baskets to pull out. And that was actually gonna get quite expensive. So I had to put like extra boards in and shelving so I could add like extra baskets and the baskets I was looking at were I think they were like $29 a basket I was going to use six of them at least and I thought this is getting really expensive but I need to organize my pantry area because if you've seen my uh, grocery hauls and when I show you my cupboard it's just it's all stacked on top of each other so I went searching on uh, a few websites and you always I always come back to Kmart although Big W get some great stuff I just find their website is a little bit cumbersome to be able to find things they have great stuff you just really got to go looking but I came across these at Kmart I actually saw them in store and then I thought they might work I want to come home and measure up I've learned to measure and measure and measure but I saw these, they have wheels on the bottom and these actually perfectly fit, believe it or not, tins. So I was gonna double stack a bunch of tins and I can then have these sitting in the shelf and I can just pull them out as I need things. So I'm gonna use these to like uh, stock up on, if I've got like four or five tins of baked beans or tin tomatoes, I can put them in here and then pull them out. So some things I'll have like on display sitting loosely, but kind of like my stockpile, my mini stockpile will sit inside of these. Where I actually grab, a, I gain a lot of height, but they're easy to pull out. I looked at shelving and all sorts of things. I'm like, I don't need it to look pretty. I really just need it to function to give me the room. So I measured my space. I'm potentially going to do the bottom shelf as well. I just thought I would do the top and really get that organized and give it a go. I'm just making sure these are all good and not broken, but that is what we're going to do this morning. So that's pretty much what I have in here. I did grab a few more of those glass jars for, this sounds a bit silly. Oh, hang on a sec. These would be really good. Hang on. My kids will love that bubble wrap. I use these, so I actually, this sounds really weird, I ferment our banana peels. Apparently, from what I've read, it gives you really good potassium for your veggie garden. And I think I've noticed a difference. We've been doing it in the tomato plants and our lemon tree. And I don't know if it's the slowly the change of season, a few warmer days, we've had lots of, I don't know but I'm definitely noticing some really good growth from them. So I just grabbed these. I've got these for other things too. I use these under my sink to store some homemade cleaning products and my bicarb sodas and that kind of thing. So I grabbed those. These could actually probably be quite good to, like there are three, uh, there are one litre. They're really cheap. They were like four or $5 for the three jars or something. Uh, so they're a litre with them. But these would be quite good if you were going to be doing some sourdough starter. I don't know if I'd use the lids on them, but I guess you could because they're not st like steel inside. They'd be great to use for a sourdough starter. I've got a container I use from Ikea. It's on the larger side. I think it's probably like maybe two litre container, which is great because I make a lot and I do a lot of cooking with the sourdough, but a smaller one will be just as good. Now, I did grab these as well. We've actually, I purchased off of Marketplace. I'm doing a video on it. I got the kids a, what do you call it? A mud kitchen, really cheap of a Marketplace. It needs a little facelift because uh, it's secondhand and it's been out in the weather. 
but I grabbed these containers. If I can find links to what these things are called, I'll let you know. I wanted to put my ch children's kitchen stuff in containers and put it out with the mud kitchen. It's currently up on the deck because it's wood. I don't want it to get like wet and rotting. And these lids actually seal really well to these containers. So I actually sorted out all of their stuff the other day. And I've got like a utensils one, a food one, a pantry one, and a pots and pans one. So I've got four of these tubs. So when I eventually do the kitchen mud kitchen kids kitchen Renault you'll actually see these in it uh, and I'll give you some more details but I'm going to show you my kitchen and see if what's in here is actually going to translate to the cupboard so these are my three cupboards I use for literally my pantry it's overflowing it's really full this one over here I kind of organized the other day it's kind of like my extra supply of herbs baking random stuff so i'm probably not going to touch that one today i purposely built these to put in all of my extra tins and things that are just stacked in here it fits perfectly i'm probably going to get one two three maybe four so eight eight tins per one of these so i think that's really good and i'll try and stack the tins same or like same theme. So really boring, but I'm going to empty this out, wipe it down, and then just start refilling it in a more organized way. I have this bamboo rotating tray. I think I got this from Pull & Co. It's a really good quality actually turntable. I'm gonna keep that. Originally, this was supposed to be for the sauces and it kind of oh see i forgot i had that uh so i might keep it up the front as our regular use but everything else i just want to pull out wipe down and organize when we moved in in like the worst flooding of all time it was literally show everything in the kitchen and to this day we have been here six months and i have not really organized anything in the kitchen. I basically just thought we'll put it in, leave it. Our priority has been the garden, the downstairs area, painting and doing some things in the bedrooms. So I think I'm slowly up to the kitchen. For me, it's really exciting. surprised oh, I'm sitting on the hard floors <laughs> ouch I'm actually surprised at how many things I didn't realize I had and this is why I like to be organized functionally organized not aesthetically organized so I can see things in last week's grocery haul I bought another jar I can't even find it now in the mess I bought a jar of salsa mixture because I thought I was down to my last one but when I was cleaning out I swear I had another jar come through anyway doesn't matter the purpose is is to get organized and not have food waste better see things and then on my board you guys know when my groceries get low I write it on my board so when a sale comes up I can stock up Lately, I've just been buying things when they're on sale or to get the discount codes and I'm, I'm missing out on opportunities of things. So I'm literally just going to get these tops, categorize the containers, excuse me, sorry, the sauces, the condiments, the peanut butters and that sort of thing and we're going to store them. This is what the containers are called. Let's just hope we can actually see what that container says there. I don't know if that's coming into view or not. I think my camera's actually playing up. They're called the medium white slim storage. I think they come in different sizes as well. 
there was a, a larger one than this, like a twice the width one, which I was thinking of using for the cordials, but even the cordials fit really well into there. So I might end up grabbing more of these to use for the bottom section or potentially more for up here. I'll see how we go. But I'm just gonna work my way through and stack them and put them away. I love how these are sitting. They work really well. I was wanting to use this turn table, but I can't put these behind it. They're, they're just, it's too wide, but I really want to use this. So what I'm thinking of, I definitely need to go buy some, See, these fit down the bottom really well, and I could put all of the cordials in them. I could organize down there so much better. These containers, that's been there since before we moved. Again, I just chucked all of these containers. Hey, look, I just found the taco kit. <laughs> we had tacos the other night which we ate a pack, and then I've got this pack, and then I just found this pack. Again, I need to clean out and organize. I'm gonna have a play around. I'm gonna see if I can get some of these containers down here. That's probably no good anymore. And maybe I could put them like up in there, because that's, then it's cool. If I've got, I'm not sure I understand. I don't understand either. If I've got that there, I won't be able to reach the back of them and I want it to be functional. So maybe, maybe I don't use the tray. Maybe, maybe I need to think of something else. Let me just play. I've got a better layout. I think these are actually gonna work better down the bottom. I'm gonna grab another one for here. I thought I had six. I must have only ever grabbed five, but one more will go here, and this is where I can have all of my tins. They look slide in and out really well. I wanted to use this term table because it's so easy to use with all of our like regular condiments. This is short term. This is until we figure out what we're going to do with the kitchen space. We're not too sure if we're going to do downstairs in the short term, put the kitchen down there or longer term. So I don't want to spend a lot of money. Even some of these containers probably need updating. I just don't want to spend the money when potentially in the next year or two, and that might seem like a long way away, but I just don't want to waste the money and waste a product that will get thrown out when I'm gonna have a different design or more space or different space to work with. This is functional, I can work with it. I'm just going to have to work with it. I just need to make sure the food was better than it was before. But I think that works really well. Up the back, I think I might put like the extra sauces that we get. And these, these all need to be empty. These are probably really old and maybe a little bit stale. So I can empty some out, some, some of the stuff out there. But I've still got a few tins. I've got a lot of stuff down here. So I've got the cordials I can like put into store. And then anything that I've got like two of, there's actually room still behind here. So if I push that all the way back, there's actually a lot of room there. So I could put like extra cordials that haven't been opened all the way down the back and then I can put something in front of it still. So I can have like extra, extra stockpile room behind it. So I might do that. I'm just at a bit of a loss. So I've still got things like these and so 
sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying now. Um, the problem I'm going to have is I'm going to have things left over and probably because everything in here was like stacked up chockers. I just don't think I'm going to have room to store things like this. But I do have this really awkward shelf behind the camera, which I may just go out and buy. There's a lot of room in there. I may just go out and buy like those big baskets and I can put things in it like this to store. So we're going to keep playing. You're going to come see me come back later with containers. Maybe it'll be the next day. I need to put all this sort of stuff somewhere. But it's a progress. I'm happy with how it's going. I want to be very thoughtful about what I spend and how I lay it out to really make it functional. I need to figure out what to put in these containers. Um, I, we don't really have as many crackers in that anymore. My kids used to have crackers. Now they're really onto bread. So maybe I could like put in pasta or the kids chips. But I just don't even know if this is functional for us anymore anyway we'll keep going so what I have done just to allow me to do one trip to the shops and not buy things that I don't need or I need to get back again I'm going to get another one of these drawers pull out drawers for my drinks I've grouped all of my kind of like sauces fish sauce uh, soy sauce lemon juice so that'll I need another one for there these are all kind of my toppings, so maple syrup, caramel sauce, Maggi, the kids' milkshake ones. So that'll be another drawer there. So I at least need two more drawers, but I'm actually thinking of doing three drawers. These are just sort of like random bits left over. I'm probably going to group that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my husband can take that to lunch one day because that's what he asked to get the other week. I don't know what I'm going to do with those containers there, but I have stacked them. What I put in them, I really don't know. I need to figure it out because even in this cupboard over here, these two containers are completely empty and I usually have another one sitting up the top there. This is kind of just like baking and a bit of excess stuff. I just kind of neatened it up a bit the other day. so. I've got two containers there that are completely empty. These containers just don't hold any value for us at the moment. My kids used to love snacking on like rice crackers, the rectangle cruskets, Jats biscuits and all that kind of thing. And I just, we just don't do that as much anymore. And I have noticed these are not 100% sealed. So if I was to put in, these came in the groceries the other week, uh, the twisties, we don't go through them very fast and I think they would go stale in those containers. So maybe I need to get a couple, like maybe two or three better containers. This is what is left. Well, that's a sauce there, isn't it? So we can put that with the sauces and that's a cordial. We can put that with the cordial. But I'm left with like big containers of like vinegar. These are all of my um, spices, salts, pasta things. This section over here, that just looks absolutely terrible. This is where the pantry was, and this was actually closed off. So we took the pantry out, and although we lost all of that space there, we gained this big section in here, and I'm trying to figure out, do I just buy more of these tubs? These are from Kmart. I've had them forever, so I'm assuming they'd have something similar, and I could literally just go one, two, three and stack well, maybe not three two in the baskets on top and i could use it to store more of our packaged things so the potatoes would come out of there go into a basket i have the basket there so if the kids want a snack it's accessible it's got chips in it or tiny teddies sometimes little packets of chips and like muesli bars and that kind of thing but maybe i could clear this out have two baskets up the top one two three four even like this is it was a really weird thing. Anyway, I'm working with it until we fix what we're doing in the kitchen. But I'm thinking I could get a container and like put all of those into it. I could properly store my obsession with tea bags. These are like, I mean, they were actually getting broken just sitting there. So maybe I could organize that better and put some tubs in there. 
but I'm stuck with these, but I could with those. I organized on top of the fridge the other day and I could put that container back up the top there and down the side here, I could have my vinegars and that sort of thing. Again, I'm trying to just be a bit practical on where things go. If I wanted to spend a fortune on this kitchen, I couldn't make it look amazing and everything together and flowing and great. I just want it to be more functional than what it was. And that storage solution is so much more functional. I will finish that section there. I need to sort them out. So I'm getting there. It's, it's a process. It might take me a couple of days, but I'm getting there. All right, I'm back. I went to the shops. It's the next day and I have grabbed a couple more of these. I think these are fantastic. The stickers on these ones are not fantastic to get off, but what I'm going to do is finish stocking up the categories that I had done. So it's got like my like sauces and that, like uh, toppings for sweet stuff, I guess you could say. Let me bring you down a little bit. Better. I have decided to keep these containers. Some of them seal really well, so I'm going to hang on to a couple of those and use them. We do buy large bags of chips because chips are just more cost effective in a larger bag than buying all those single pouches that are just a, uh, extra plastics to the environment. So I'm going to go through and just finish this side here. I will then give you a look at what I'm doing in the corner over there to make that side more user friendly and try and maximize the space. I did have to spend money, but you will see why. So I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. I may put another one of those up on there just to maximize the space. And up the back of here is just my sauces. Behind these, I'm gonna have like excess stock of things that just don't fit into these tubs. Will I put labels on them? Probably not, because it's just more money I'm spending on something that's only a shorter term solution. And I'm not gonna lie, if one of these are full and it's got tinned tomatoes on it, and I've got tin tomatoes I can put into this one. I'm just going to fill them up. They're not going to be like purely certain types of food. It's just a better storage option compared to what we did have. So let me show you over here. This was my issue corner. My battery is running flat, so I'm going to have to change it. I had to cut out the side panel that was in here because it didn't fit by that thickness and this is just like a ply it's not asbestos or anything like that they are so totally safe um but i picked those up whoops i need to clean i picked these up from Kmart, and they are perfect but they were 30 dollars each quite expensive but they are a really good decent size drawer i couldn't get any more of these and the containers I could get didn't fit. And if I got containers and I stacked things up, I'd have to pull them all out and then lift the lids up and that kind of thing. So I thought they were great. $60, but I think it's money well spent. And my little baskets, I will separate them out and put them on top. So let's get that section sorted out. Just get like some white paper and stick it across here so you can't see the content inside. But I still have stuff left over. I still have all of that crap down there. So I'm just gonna play the video and now pretty much tidy the kitchen and then I'll give you a run through on where I'm kind of up to with 
some of my storage solutions. I think that is a really good option. That was literally a dead space where a pantry was up that wall and that was boxed in. So I've gained a lot of storage space back in there, which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna clean and organize and put some things away and then we'll have a little tour through on what I've done. seen this but this is the end result I've ended up putting the potatoes and onions in here the kids snacks into here I don't have enough room I wish I did because I probably could have put like a third one there but I did want to utilize these baskets I just need to keep in mind that they are pushing down a little bit because the potatoes are quite heavy and these are just like plastic tubs to pull in and out it is full of stuff I need to organize it I just wanted to get it in and done this is what they are called here the extra large modular storage drawer and it's the C version I've never seen them before I don't do a lot of shopping in Kmart we've actually pulled back on a lot of shopping in general at the moment hashtag renovation life um, but I'm really happy with how these have worked there was a pantry that came out here so this actually sticks out the old bench shelf actually sticks out and this is the old wall going up we gave it a coat of paint I tried these stick on tiles from Kmart I thought they I did not like them at all. They looked really fake and plasticky and did not suit. So I ended up pulling those two off and I've just left it. So I might do like another couple of coats of paint just to tidy that up. And I might put like a bead across the bottom there because that is literally, you can see like going out <laughs> to the weatherboards against the house. This is where the pantry was and that's why that has not been sanded. I'm not too concerned at the moment. It is a much better functional space. And now when I do my groceries, I can actually see, well not physically see, but pull out and see the things I have. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. These ones here, I kept a sticker. We're called the medium. That might not go into focus. They are the medium white slim storage. They're 26 centimeters high by 11 centimeters wide by 35 centimeters deep. And I believe they were $6 each, a bit more expensive than I thought. I thought they were like a couple of dollars, but they've got a couple of different versions, like a little um, triangular version one. This is the one I've got and then the wider version as well for them. <laughs> But I'm really happy with how it turned up. I've got a load, loads of storage room behind those tubs. So I can push these all the way back to there. So if I really wanted to, I could utilize some of those containers behind to put in storage of things. So if I bought like extra tins or something, I could put them into a container and store it behind them. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. Again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I could have, and this could have looked amazing. I didn't want to waste or spend the money. Although these were six dollars each and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did spend a bit of money there. A lot of money went into those drawers, but I think that was the best option I had with those drawers over there. It was just a, a hideous space to be honest. Uh, should I have left the pantry there? Maybe, but I had a massive ant infestation and it was a day just not to mess with me and I literally ripped the whole thing out. So it's done. I'm really happy with that and I'm much more happy with this here. Without spending too much money, I have a much more organized space. So much better. Up here, I put my large sauces on the side. I could put them behind those tubs, but I do reach my vinegars quite often and that's the kids coil that they rarely use. I might grab, because I actually really love these tubs here, another tub there and maybe I can put in some more cereals for the kids. So in this box here, I end up putting in like all of our reusable bags. I don't know where I'm going to put that tub just yet. I might even change the tub and put it into some bags and I can store them into the cupboard up there. Who knows? And then this is just excess stock that I could put 
behind there but I think I'll end up filling up some of these containers and possibly buy another one for there but that is it for I don't know just some options on if you're renting or just want to organize and not spend a lot of money I've been pretty mindful with some of the organization in this home because we are planning on doing a lot of change down the track, I know how expensive containers can be. I know how easily it can be to look at something on Pinterest or Instagram and think, oh my goodness, that looks so good, I want to do it. I love when things look organized and I love it more when they're in glass jars and they look really pretty. But I'm all about function to not waste things. And that, don't mind that, but that is so much more functional than what I had. We were literally like throwing tins in and being like, we'll deal with that later. So I'm really happy that I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Extremely happy on how that turned out. And this here I think was a great option. Now when we do come to renovating the kitchen, relocating the kitchen, these drawers are fantastic that I think I'd actually continue using them even under like the beds to put things in. So like handbags or winter boots, they are a really good large drawer. For $30 I think think I'm, I'm gonna say they're probably worth it for $30 it is on the upper end but they're, they're big containers so those ones there are 20 centimeters high like they're very high um, 40 centimeters deep and 60 centimeters across they are a very large container so I'm really happy um, although that cost me $60 just to do that with how much it was spent you can see the potatoes are kind of bowing there so I probably need to be a bit careful with that or I could put the potatoes on the ground here but given how small this kitchen is I try not to have things on the floor apart from the dog food and dog water uh, but that is it for the video I don't know if that was like wow exciting gave you some ideas or not that was just really annoying me and I wanted to do something in that space and I had the time so I actioned it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped in some ways. I hope it gave you a bit of reality that kitchens do like, look like this on the regular. Some days I'm so organized. But anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoy. Talk soon. Bye. Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my